So for 2020, Nissan is fighting back with their new Titan pickup truck. Just as a frame of reference, how well has the Titan been selling in the last little while? Well, really not well at all. This full-size truck is in last place compared to especially the domestic manufacturers and over at Toyota, they outsell this vehicle. For example, the Titan at the end of 2019 in the Canadian market, sales were down 48%. In the United States, sales were down 37%. Now, part of that is Nissan building down their inventory of the old truck, getting ready for this one. So yes, they're fighting back and they need to fight back because they need to have something to offer in the marketplace that is compelling enough to get people to change their mind. I remember speaking to one auto executive and he said, the only way you get people to change truck brands is with dynamite. Well, do they have enough TNT in this Titan to pull it off? So what do they do to fight back? First of all, in the Canadian market anyway, they're simplifying the ordering process. Basically, you get one body design. You get the crew cab with one bed length. They surveyed their dealers, they surveyed owners, and this is the size of truck that people want to buy, so that's all they're bringing in for the Canadian market. Slightly different in the United States. This is the Pro 4X sportier model, and this is the Baja Storm color that is only available on this trim. Now let's get into what they've changed for 2020. So they changed the front of this vehicle quite a bit, and they needed to. In my opinion, the last truck wasn't really particularly good looking. Now they've improved that, Different grills with different grades. The Pro 4X gets the black grill, which certainly looks menacing. I like the red Nissan detail in the front. Also, you get new headlamps, new fog lamps, new bumper. Basically, what they call the front clip has been changed. Now, on the top two trims, which is the Pro 4X and the one above it, you get standard LED headlamps and you get standard LED fog lamps. Not the case with all trims. But this part is good. They've done a good job with this. This is what people want. They want a menacing looking truck. It's a nice clean design. That is an improvement. So when you come down the side with this Pro 4X, you get the 18 inch darker wheels. You get the Bilstein shocks. You also get a locking differential in the back. More on that when we go for a drive. Now around the back, you get this Titan light bar that goes across the back of the bed. It certainly looks good. This is obviously their sporty performance model. However, just keep this in mind if you're thinking about getting this. If you want to get something from inside the bed, you actually have to climb inside to get it. You can't reach it from here. Something to consider. Now the good news is they have this step that you just push down at the back and then you can climb in. So getting in the back of the bed is no problem at all. Also, the truck bed has a soft open. Doesn't come slamming down. There's also rails on the inside for loading cargo. There's um, a proper power outlet for putting tools into, and there's LED lights inside here as well, underneath uh, the bed lip that you can't see. There's four of them. And to push this back, you just kick it back up. It's that simple. So on the outside, you got the Pro 4X. It certainly has the rugged look. I do think the color is uh, eye-catching and is sporty enough. Let's get inside. Um, What's under the hood and the way it drives is the high point of this truck for sure. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. Listen to that. This is the strong part of this Titan. It's the 5.6 liter V8 engine, standard engine. That's all you get, 400 horsepower, 413 pound-feet of torque. Now, before we go any further, we should point something out. Yes, this truck has 400 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque, but if you use premium-grade gasoline, if you put in regular-grade gasoline, it reverts back to the numbers that were available last year, 390 horsepower and 394 pound-feet of torque. But if you decide to put in premium gas, man, this thing is quick. The big mechanical change is they've gone from a seven speed automatic transmission to a nine speed automatic transmission. And this makes it much more responsive in mid horsepower and mid speed ranges. For example, uh, Nissan claims that this truck is faster between 60 and 100 kilometers an hour by one second. So that's quite an impressive improvement to mid-range acceleration. I would say that this might just be, uh, other than say getting a Raptor for example, but for a baseline 
1500 truck, the sportiest one I've ever driven. The throttle response is excellent. The transmission is very quick to shift. However, I have noticed in a few instances, sometimes it's hunting for the right gear, um, but I'll give it a pass. I have to kind of wait and see and try it some more. But I have to say, it is very responsive. The engine is up to the job, and that is a very strong feature of this truck. However, it is the only engine you can get. The domestics are offering diesels. They're offering smaller displacement turbocharged engines, but this is a 5.6 liter V8. The maximum towing is 9,200 pounds, and with this Pro 4X, it's 8,900 pounds towing capacity which is less than the domestic manufacturers for some of their engines, not all of their engines, but that's something to consider as well. Now, one thing they've done with the steering is they've made the steering, it might be specific to this Pro 4X, but the steering is overly heavy. Now, they can do that for one reason, to make this feel like a quality, you know, vehicle with good feedback through the steering wheel, but at low speeds and parking, it's kind of overly heavy to the point where it's a bit distracting. So updates on the inside of this truck. The largest infotainment system in the class. So it starts at eight inches, right? If you wanna get the one you have here, that's the nine inch unit, that's on the higher trim levels. And they claim that the resolution of this nine inch screen is better than HD quality. It's pretty good. I find sometimes the touch response of changing radio stations isn't very sensitive, but you would get used to how hard you have to hit that. They all come with Apple and Android, whether you get the eight or nine inch unit, and also Wi-Fi connectivity inside this truck for the first time as well. They've changed some of the uh, center console, uh, the bin in the center for configurations. That's pretty good. You get the latest connectivity, you get USB-C, regular USB, you get all kinds of power outlets in the back, you get a 115 volt power outlet. Uh, so it's fairly nicely equipped. This uh, Pro 4X has the nice looking leather, heated and perforated ventilated seats in the front. Now one thing I found interesting, opening the back door, the doors don't open very far. It was kind of surprising that they don't open to a, a wider angle. So getting in and out isn't that big a deal, but it certainly was something I noticed. The seats flip up um, and you can get a flat fold out floor in the bottom if you wanna store things, uh, dry lockable storage on the inside. And then the seats fold down as well. You can use it that way. Either way, plenty of room in the back, what you expect in this uh, class of vehicle. Now look at this, big panel roof, Nissan claims this is the largest panel roof available in any truck. That is pretty impressive. But here's the thing. <laughs> I don't like panel roofs. I always keep them closed. I like the sun shining on me. Now the rest of the cabin is nicely equipped. This one has the upgraded Fender sound system in it. Uh, I think that I would give this a sort of a mid-grade when it comes to overall fit and finish compared to what the, some of the domestics are offering, like the Ram, for example, but it is a nice upgrade. They have put some attention into this and that's welcome. Now, the one thing about the screen, the screen is good. It's big. It has lots of information there. Unfortunately, this vehicle has the around view monitor system. Nissan did not update the cameras. They still have this really quite low resolution image compared to others that are in the marketplace. So I'm in the Pro 4X that has the 18-inch uh, wheels, the all-terrain tires, the Bilstein shocks, and the locking rear differential. And there's this place in Vancouver that's kind of like a little urban off-road area, which is so cool that we have this right kind of in the middle of the city. It's secret, but that's where you would bring a truck like this. A lot of guys bring their dirt bikes down here. But uh, that's what this truck is kind of for. It's the sportiest model, uh, certainly looks cool. And if you're doing any off-roading, this would be the one you want to get to get that locking rear differential. Now, not that it matters doing this sort of stuff, but safety is certainly a concern. And all Titan pickup trucks now get the 360 suite of safety features. So that's the Nissan 360 Shield, basically giving you all of the advanced safety features as standard equipment on every single Titan model. Now, even with the nine-speed automatic transmission, uh, the 5.6 liter 
gets okay fuel economy, but not great fuel economy. And certainly with just one engine option, as I mentioned, it's not gonna be able to get the kind of fuel economy you could with some of the optional engines from the domestic manufacturers. This new Titan is rated at 15.1 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 11.1 on the highway. That works out to 16 miles per gallon in the city and 22 on the highway. Now, if you follow pickup trucks, you probably remember that Nissan made a big deal about adding the V8 Cummins diesel into their lineup for the last model, but that has been dropped. This is the only engine we get now and others in this class, mostly from the domestics, offer a lot of different engine choices. Now, as I mentioned off the beginning, it takes dynamite to get people to change the full-size truck brands. And the domestics are so strong in this department. Nissan learned the hard way with the second generation Titan. It's not easy to get people to change. I would put this truck in the sporty camp, especially with this Pro 4X, if you want a uh, really powerful and responsive truck that feels really more like a sporty car, this would be the one to try out. It really is impressive in that regard. So to continue with the dynamite analogy, this new truck is going off with a bang, not a huge explosion. Car Cost Canada provides the dealer's cost, a list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get access to exclusive and powerful savings. The link is in the description below.